So we've been living in the camper van for about two weeks now and I wanted to do a little video basically just to explain to you guys what it's like to live in a camper van. It is very different to start off with. There is a lot of things that you need to get used to, that you need to learn, like the electrics, the water pumps, and even the way that you drive the van. I'm not, a, I don't drive. It's actually all down to Alex and he's been great. He's been driving, doing all the miles, but he's explained to me how different it is to drive such a bulky vehicle. And that's definitely something you will need to think about. It is truly amazing waking up in new places every day. We've been to the Netherlands, we've been to Germany, we've been to Belgium, we're currently in France at the moment and it is, it's mind-blowing every day waking up somewhere different. You can explore the world, you can find places to stay for free in your camper van. I will do a short video on that um, at a later date just to explain how you find these places but it is something that I encourage you guys to do. It is such an amazing experience, amazing feeling just to, to be surrounded by different cultures. I mean we're only in Europe but you see such different changes as you travel around you see people different people eating different foods people acting differently it is just so amazing but I will be doing some videos just to explain the main things that you do need to think about it is definitely a challenge to adapt to the way that you live in a camper van I mean it's such a small space luckily me and Alex has been living together for seven years so it's it's something that we're used to living together anyway but it is a short area, a small area, sorry, that you need to learn to work together, to live in there um, and live every day, cook food, wake up, wash. It is definitely, yeah, it's definitely a challenge, but it's a challenge that both me and Alex have really enjoyed. Um, my first video is going to be about solar. So Alex actually installed solar before we left. We've got a 100 watt solar panel that actually produces enough energy that we need to um, charge our phones, our laptops, our iPods, does the lights. It is amazing. It actually creates this energy and it's enough for us to use anyway. So some people go around in the camper vans and they have to connect to electrical sources. You need to pay for these electrical sources. Some of the places that we stayed for for free, you actually um, have to pay something in the range of two euros per 10 minutes or even five euros a day. It depends where you are, but you have to pay for this energy. So it's definitely something that you should consider if you're going traveling in a camper van. Um, you have to learn to be aware of how much water you're using. Um, definitely, I found that you need to come up with a strategical way to wash plates up. Um, you need to make sure that you're getting water that you can drink. Some places isn't drinking water, so you need to make sure that you're drinking um, good water um, and enough water even. Um, there's things of storage, where do you put things, where's logical ways of putting, um, logical places of putting certain things and it is, it's it's a truly another world living in a camper van and it is it's amazing but you need to think about how different your life is going to be for me and alex it's worked really really well and i really hope that my videos are going to help you guys to understand a little bit more before you do go and definitely encourage you guys to do it to take that plunge and do something really truly different and it is it's possible and people think that it isn't but it really is you work your ass off and you save up money and maybe somewhere along the line you find out a way to make money online and that's definitely what me and Alex are considering doing and we want to do to make our traveling longer and like I said we're in France at the moment we will be traveling down to Spain our final destination this year is going to be Seville my dad lives in Seville so Luckily, we've got somewhere to go and park our camper, but you need to have a a plan. Every day we've had a plan of what direction we're going to be going, but we've not had a plan of where we're staying. And we found this epic website called Camper Contact. It's actually places that you can find. It's a website that you can find places to stay for free, places in different locations around Europe. I don't know if it 
is anywhere else um, in the world but because we're in Europe we've only kind of focused on European countries anyway but I will do a video on how you can find places for free how you can find all these amazing places that we've been to we've been to lakes we've been to forests we've been to to places with boats we've been everywhere and it's just so damn amazing and I really do encourage you guys to do it like I said my first proper video is going to be about solar I'm going to explain to you guys how 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 much you'll need to need to generate the amount of energy that you will need for your appliances how to install your solar I mean we did it a particular way there are many ways you can do it but I'll talk you along how we did it and talk you along how we're finding it and um, yeah, I hope all this information is going to be useful to you guys. I will make sure that I tell you everything. I'll tell you all our experiences and hopefully encourage you to go on an epic adventure like we are. We're enjoying this so much and we're excited for every single day when we wake up in a new place. But I hope you guys are doing well. Keep smiling and I'll see you next time. These are just some of the amazing places that we've been so far in our camper van and we really can't wait to see so many more.